Hey everyone, this is a follow up to last Friday's podcast. Um, there was a question that I didn't include in the in the podcast about autism. Um, the listener said, I saw this quote, late diagnosis means grieving all the time spent trying to fix parts of you that never needed fixing. How does that fit with what you're teaching? So, um, so that so that quote um, is is really it's really regret, isn't it? It's it's a quote about regret. It's saying, if only I'd known um, that I didn't that there wasn't something actually that I was doing wrong. That there was something that there was a tendency of the mind of the brain to respond and to process in certain ways. That there were certain limitations that no matter how hard I tried would never come easy or, or, or naturally. Um, if only I'd known that. And now, and now that I know it, I have to grieve that past. And so this, it's a question about autism, but it, it applies to every single aspect of our life in which from from the present moment of understanding we look back and we see um effort and resources and attention and um exhaustion um hopelessness helplessness struggle um that if only there'd been a, a different knowledge we wouldn't it wouldn't have been like that and 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 i mean really the sort of ultimate the ultimate example of that is really is from um from a, from an increasing realization of what we are of the truth of what we are and and the falling of way of what's no longer true all the things that used to preoccupy us of how to stabilize the identity how to how to protect ourselves how to second guess what everyone was thinking so that we could be secure in in the image of that they have of us um the realization that none of that can ever be known that it has no truth in it whatsoever and yet we might have spent you know like me easily 45 plus years devoted to that struggle devoted to trying to stabilize this idea of us and and then so where does regret come into that it doesn't it can't just just as like grieve it grieving that time we spent trying to fix the parts that didn't need fixing there was no option there, th this is this is the thing with regret there, there there never was any option for it to be any different there was there was what was known what was believed what was understood what was blindly followed what was taken on as um gospel truth because someone in a white coat or a or a parent or a teacher has told us these things um that's that's the sphere of possibility as long as as long as these things are believed they are reality belief equals reality there's no you can't question it because it's just true there's no it's not optional it's true um and so that's all that's available and so i would say it's it's an ego um an ego play, an ego securing to sit in regret. If only, if only I'd known. It's like this separate me can, as if it could know anything different. It exists in the universe of, of belief. There is no separate me that can know anything else. It, it arises out of beliefs itself. That's what creates it. And so, so to sit here now with, with different knowledge saying, I wish I'd known, I, I'm sad now, I'm hard done by, I'm 
I'm a victim, really, because I wish I'd known something different is is absolutely an exercise in futility and in um in a in a belief in the past that doesn't hold any water and and our identity the ego the separation exists in the past exists in the past and the future it doesn't exist now so regret if if we really want the richness of regret of what the gift it is is saying what is going on right now in this moment what behavior is happening what conflicts are going on what um limitation is in place what um what reactions and tendencies and suffering is happening right now because of what's believed right now turn turn the lens of inquiry onto behavior our behavior now in this moment because that's freedom now, because now we're, now we're recognizing this, this, this universe of, of um, oh, the only available courses of action that come from understanding and belief. We're seeing it. We're not, we're not, we're seeing it happen now, not, not just in the past, but actually now. Where, where something can be done about it. So we, so instead of sitting in regret and that sort of ego boost of, if only I'd known now what I, if only I'd known then what I know now, which is nonsense. We look at all the areas of suffering, all the areas of fear, all the areas of insecurity, all the areas of shame, all the areas of comparison, all the conflict, all all the struggle and what is being believed right now that would set that it, that when that goes would set this whole thing free yeah and that's and that's freedom that's rich um regret about the past completely meaningless there, there was no other option um but now there is and that's hard for the ego to to sit with but that's what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Lots of love. Bye.